Hey guys, JLums here, doing a video for Gran Turismo 7's new update 1.42. It is available now. But don't get too excited. Um, there's not really much going on from what I what I've seen in red. Basically, there is it looks like there's three new cars. Two of them are vision cars. One is a off-roading vehicle. Looks like it's a Jeep. So for those who were hoping they would see a new track, new cars that are usable for any of the daily races, that's not happening this, this turnaround. Looks like there is some other updates, small minor fixes or bug fixes slash additions to things. We'll go ahead and go through that once we get into the game here. But again, don't be too excited. I want to give you guys a, a little bit of a highlight from last week. I was able from the last dailies, the Grand Valley, um, Grand Valley in Reverse GT4 Group 4 race, I was able to grind the snot out of that game or out of that race, basically three days straight. I actually had a nine over nine hour stream on YouTube if you guys want to check it out on my page, um, but it was a nine hour stream of just pure Grand Valley. And I got A-Class, the highest driver rating I've ever got. Now I can play against Super GT. That's a dream of mine. I want to be in one of his videos. Here we go. This is what we're looking at here for the update. Here's the video. I hate that it's usually bad quality. I don't know why. Genesis X, yeah. I mean, that Genesis X is a pretty cool car. And then this uh, Jimny NC, so. You know, and look, that's it. Video's done. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go take a look at the actual notes in regards to the uh, update. I wish there was new tracks, but you can't expect new tracks every single time for free. So here we go. So cars, it has the three new cars as stated and shown in the video there. There's some world circuit racing uh, made for basically these uh, new cars that just came out. Looks like the Jimny Cup and the Vision cars. Grand Central, New Museums, Genesis and Pangani. Sure. There's new uh, cafe menu books added, so new uh, things that you, if you want to do that kind of stuff, the single player stuff. Uh, car designers, sure. There's a bunch of car designer stuff. I don't even know what that's for. GT Auto, car maintenance and service. Uh, engine swaps have been added to the following. If you've unlocked Collector 50, I've been, I've been unlocked at 50 for a very long time. One to note that I can see here is the, the Nismo, the, uh, the Garage RCR Civic, which is awesome, and the Toyota GR Supras. That kind of stands out to me quite a bit. Corolla, even the Corolla as well. You can do some sick AE86 uh, builds with that, I could assume. Newscapes, the following have been added as a feature curations in spaces, so service er areas, which I'll take some, I'll do some some pictures and stuff with my cars, would be kind of sick. Other uh, improvements and adjustments, world circuits, weekly challenges, physics simulation model, adjusted the stability of rival cars in wet conditions, multiplayer, fix an issue where player one would have an advantage in split screen race, which is actually kind of hilarious. I mean, it's not very popular, I assume, but at least it's there. At least it's the options available. And GT Auto corrected the color quality for certain paint for an Austin Martin Aureolus teal. Thank you for your support, and please continue to enjoy Grand Christmas 7. So, that's it. That's all we get. So, if you were hoping to get something crazy, nope, you're not getting anything crazy. But, getting an update is better than not getting an update. That's the way I see it. So, we'll go ahead do some of uh, these awesome awesome six star this is the highest uh gifts you can get from gran turismo 
the six star roulette tickets. And of course, they're freaking parts because why not? This is the highest level of, of things you can get for your Gamba. Gamba, Gamba, Gamba. And they're freaking parts, and you'll get them for random cards that you might not even have or care for. So what, we got a... What is this? We got a bore up for a Toyota Super G, or RZ. I mean, that's sure. I mean, at least it's a car that I might want to do that ever to, which I probably will not. Let's see what this one is. So we get carbon drive shafts. For what car? Uh, for a Lexus RCF. Okay, cool. I mean, at least uh, it's for cars that I like. Maybe they're 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 listening. How do they hear that? I at least say at least give it to cars that I actually care about or want to modify. But there you go. Look at that, guys. Driver rating A and safety rating S. Love it. I am at a new high. I am so excited to be in this level. I want to try and strive really hard to actually stay at this level. It's going to be quite tough because these guys, I did a few races earlier um, with the Michelin and I can tell that they're a lot more consistent and they're and they're more patient. So usually you know how, how bad it is first turn for most races. Uh, these guys know how to take their time and understand to just wait for your chance. Let the game come to you. Don't come to the game kind of thing, right? Or let the race come to you, not you come to the race. Anyway. We'll go ahead with the video. We'll do a couple. We'll do a race, um, and uh, yeah, continue, 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 continue to rank up, baby.